beautiful souls. We will be deconstructing and reconstructing a ready-made budget-friendly sketchbook. It will be a no-sew or using any kind of special equipment either. Here I've used leftover designer paper, also known as scrapbooking paper. I've used lace to decorate and tie. With not trying to add dimensional embellishments to the front for storage purposes to avoid any bulk that may get smashed or crushed. Even if you decide to add bulky embellishments, it's not going to interfere with sketching or writing if you decide to use it as a journal due to its ability to, dis to detach from the shell. So it's not permanently fixed to the spine. That's what I love about this aside from it being budget friendly. And since I was using scraps, I added pocket a pocket here. And these stickers are from the Dollar Tree. I've added one here and here. I plan to add, you know, more decorations as I go along. So I'm, but I'm keeping it um, simple as possible. And I do love, absolutely love vintage Victorian. So that's why um, I've used soft, delicate papers you know colors and patterns and a little bit of lace and as you can see here I have two different designer papers here only because I didn't have enough to cover this whole side um, so I ended up splicing it and then covering with a piece of um, decorative paper so that you don't see the split and here I have actually three pieces of paper so it doesn't have to be perfect um, but I still wanted it to look pretty um, attractive to me. Um, here's another pocket here. And then here's a pocket here. This is the paper pad I use. And we'll be, we will be doubling the pages. This one here is this paper pad. And I, all I did was double the pages because we are going to be cutting this in half. This is a new one that I bought. I haven't done one with, with this size yet. This one here is 9 inch by 12. This is the one we're going to be doing today. And this one here is 12 by 18. And with this one, I'm just going to divide this in three. So I will be having one, two, three sections. Okay. You're going to need glue. I prefer a thick glue, a tacky glue. That way it's not runny and it won't warp the pages when we're gluing them together. I'm also going to be using double-sided tape. So this is dry adhesive, sticky tape. You're also going to need some kind of binding clips. So I'm going to be using these binding clips. Just a pencil to mark. An X-Acto knife if you do not have a paper trimmer um, because you will be cutting the pages and this cardboard will be the front and back cover. Um, so this chipboard or cardboard will be also cut in half. So you're going to need either a paper trimmer like a guillotine or just a regular paper trimmer or an X-Acto knife. You're also going to need some ribbon or lace to tie the book to tie the pages to the book. You also can use um, clothing that you're not going to wear anymore, preferably a you know cotton fabric that's not stretchy. We're going to be frugal. This is all about being frugal. You know, using what you have. You you just need to get paper pads. Um, sketching pads if you don't already have them. These I ended up buying in my local discount store. They're probably not the best quality but again these are for beginners and I want to brush up on my sketching so I'm not going to buy an expensive sketchbook when I'm just trying to brush up. Okay so what you want to do here is you want to take the chipboard apart. This has a fabric piece that's binding the front and the back and these pages together so I'm just gonna since it's fabric you're gonna have to tear it once you tear it um, or once you use your scissors 
it's pretty easy to take apart after that as you can see and I am going to remove this part and I don't no longer need the front so now you have this and these are all stuck together so what you want to do is we all know the half of nine is four and a half right so you measure and you split this in half and you cut it four and a half so you have two of the same size and that's going to be your front and back covers so this here you can we're going to have to take peel the sheets off of this um adhesive you can do it through two or three at a time i'm going to do more because i'm going to cut this with my paper trimmer and I'm, I'm able to cut a few layers at a time so what you're going to do is just t take it out of here keep doing that until <clears throat> excuse me all, all the layers are split if you do not have a paper trimmer where you'll be able to cut you know several at a time um, you may want to just do one at a just take them out one at a time and then you can just trim two or three at a time with your exacto knife once you've cut these in half you're also going to want to trim the long part about an eighth of an inch shorter why we need to do that because when we bind it it's gonna have a little bit more bulk and we don't want the pages sticking out of the book okay so we're gonna move the pages from this adhesive sometimes you're able to peel most of it off and sometimes you're not so very carefully You're going to remove them one by one. And remember, these are the pages we cut in half. So half of this don't have the adhesive. And when it gets a little tight to pull apart, we're going to attempt to remove most of the adhesive. You can use this for journaling too it doesn't have to be a sketchbook because the pages are not quite like printer paper it's a little bit thicker and a little bit rougher <clears throat> so this would be nice as a journal as well we have all the parts cut out we will move on to the next step in a moment I want to share that I went ahead and cut this paper pad the 12 by 18 and I cut it in three parts and I did buy two of this paper pad because once I cut out the pages I noticed that it was a little too thin so buying another paper pad I quadrupled the thickness of the pages and as you can see here they're not evenly cut they're not perfect I wasn't looking for perfection so we won't be putting this one together on camera and the way we put this one on camera you're going to do the same thing to this size the thing about this one is is that it is a travel size so for this next step have some wax paper handy you're going to need two pieces of wax paper L longer than the height of this your tacky glue 
and tacky, tacky glue is preferred here it could be any tacky glue brand as long as it's a nice thick glue even wood glue like a white wood glue is better because you want it to dry where it feels gummy and not stiff or hard and of course I mentioned your binder clips so have your papers um, aligned a generous amount of tacky glue to the top here you're also going to need some heavy books As you can see, I didn't use any special tool or any paintbrush. I'm just using my finger to spread this glue, taking care of that it has a generous amount and that all the pages are coated. Okay, so you're going to take your wax paper, one of them, you're going to place it down. You're going to take the other wax paper and you're going to place a heavy book on top of there. And I will be leaving mine to dry overnight, even though this takes a few hours. I would... So here I have the pages glued. This has dried and all the pages are intact. And I can peel them off too if I want it. You're also going to need another piece of chipboard or cardboard for the spine I actually cut this a little bit wider than the spine here of the pages and if you don't have extra cardboard I had extra cardboard or chipboard from the paper pads because I bought extra paper pads um, to double up or, or quadruple the pages so I happen to have extra which is you know pretty much the same height as um, or the same thickness as this chipboard so you're definitely going to need spine if you don't have it you can use cereal boxes and glue them until you have the same thickness as this you're going to take your designer paper or decorative paper and I've added the dry adhesive, the double sided tape. I'm not going to concern myself with centering it. I just want to make sure I have enough papers sticking out from both ends of the spine. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to leave a space in between the spine and the the front and back cover this is actually my front cover maybe about a sixteenth of an inch space so you want to be able to close and open your book easy whether it's your journal or your art journal or sketchbook give you measurements because you may not have the same size sketching pads as I do or you may want to even make them smaller than I did but I did fail to mention when you cut these parts out that puts these parts together when you cut out the paper make sure you do have an overhang and that it's wide enough so that the other decorative piece of paper goes right on top of this so i already went ahead and did the front cover we will do the back cover together i'm just looking at the direction of the paper i'm just going to place it down here so 
this sheet of paper already has adhesive on it and I did cut it out bigger than the back cover um, this is about this is under an inch but a little bit over a half an inch overhang and I am gonna cut the corners off so make sure when you cut off these corners you leave a little bit of a overhang on the paper so this ha does have a little bit protruding out and if you're not an artist you can make this for someone in your family who is or who's starting out who's a beginner this is a great gift or you can let them know about this tutorial so they can go ahead and make it themselves but this is a nice gift and like I said this could also be a journal and these corners we're gonna flatten them in The double-sided adhesive, you could also purchase this in, in the Dollar Tree. They have them there. I get them from my local discount store. And these, these parts here, I'm just going to score them and burnish them. So I'll be able to mold the paper and close the book when adding your layers to cover the chipboard you want to start with the middle first here I cut out this piece of paper and you want it wider than your score lines in there again I'm going to score I'm molding them so they can bend easily you want to do this so you can have a guide when placing the papers you're going to add here so that you're not covering up those lines so when that becomes thick it becomes you know challenging to fold I've done this side already and I added a pocket this one already has adhesive and the reason why I added a pocket is because in case I have like a clipping of a magazine or something for reference I can put it in the pocket Okay. And I've only added wet adhesive to the three edges of the paper. And the reason why I'm adding wet adhesive as opposed to the double sided sticky tape is because I don't want papers sticking to it, to the inside of the pocket. When I, when I put papers in there. We're almost done. Uh, you can go ahead and decorate it the way you like. I'm just gonna add a piece of lace here. Now for the last step, you're going to need a piece of your decorative paper that you're going to wrap around your spine of your pages. And I did score it, so there are two score lines to fit the spine of the pages. You can have this as long or as short as you want. I don't like it too long. You could even cover this whole thing. Um, if you like, you just glue it onto your the first page only. 
and you will cut it to the size of the page you could also if you don't have a long enough sheet to cover back and front you could also do what we did to this you can have a little piece of paper here and then just uh, a separate piece of paper to go on top I'm going to leave mine like this and this is like really simple you're going to take your ribbon or your piece of cloth your lace you could also like I said ribbon you could also use ribbon if, if you want if that's what you have um, what I am going to do is I did add the lace on here so that I can have this measured properly I am going to add the lace here I'm just going to add this wet adhesive under the lace to have the lace inside of those score lines or the folds I've added um, the double-sided tape to the rest of the paper in hindsight it's better to add the double-sided tape before you actually do this middle I'm going to remove all the adhesive I'm going to do one section at a time Okay, so the reason why we trimmed off these edges because we have bulk here and then we have this added bulk here and if we didn't trim that off the pages would have been sticking out of the cover. And then all you got to do is tie it. And I would be removing this to sketch on because this it's going to distress the spine of the pages too much. So it's just easier to sketch without the cover or to journal without the cover. Okay, so you've seen this one in the beginning. This is how I decorated this one. This is an actual vintage pink lace. And here is an actual vintage cream lace. We did this one together. You saw this one in the beginning of the video. And here's the mini, the travel size. Last but not least of the mini travel size. I saved the best for last. It is my favorite and it was an afterthought. I did create another one this size. Here I used Dollar Tree ribbon, inexpensive, and I still have quite a bit of it. I had it in my stash for about three years. And before you open the book, please untie your pages. Otherwise, it will, it will rip because it already happened to me. So here's the afterthought. I used a decorative punch. This is uh, EK Success, the brand, to make it even more fancy. That's why it's my favorite because it's lacy. And I love vintage Victorian and a lot of lace and ribbon, delicate. And here, for the, the, the layer for the spine, instead of putting it underneath this page, I put it on top so that I can also add that decorative edge. Look how pretty that is. It's my favorite. Let me know which one is your favorite. Okay, so if you make one, 
sent me pictures on Instagram. It's the same name as this YouTube channel. If you would like to share your pictures, I would love to see them if you make it. Even if it's for a gift for someone else, would love, love to see that. Everybody, please be safe. Let share be fair, be filled with love, and love one another. Take good care, everybody.